Some people are visual learners, some are audio learners, some are both. At the beginning of each slide, you'll have two options, text and continue. Text will immediately stop the audio and display all important information in a textual, silent format. Continue will take you to the next slide. There are a few slides that offer enough textual information so they will not give you the text option. The first slide in most chapters is introductory in nature and will automatically advance to the next slide without any action on your part. Use the continue button to advance to or skip to a later slide. The forward and backward buttons can be used as well, but they will require you to review both the primary slide and the text slide before skipping forward or back to previous slides. Keep this in mind, most slides are made up of two separate slides. If you need to pause the slide for review or to take a break, click the pause button until the play button is visible. The audio button to the right will let you turn the instructor's narration on and off. If you need to find a particular slide, maybe to review a concept further covered in a later chapter, you can search for any and all slides on that topic using the Find feature located at the bottom of the on-screen table of contents. Simply click the Find button, type in the keywords or topic you're interested in, and click Enter or Go. All of the slides that deal with that subject area will be displayed in the table of contents. Click on each one of them to learn more. While in Find mode, you can click the double down arrow to the right of the keyword to take you to the entire chapter where the current slide is located. We often find that if a particular area is perplexing you, there may be additional subject areas that require some review. In any chapter, double clicking at the top of the table of contents will take you back to the beginning of the chapter's table of contents. The counterclockwise box or rewind button at the bottom left of the screen will take you back to the first slide of the chapter. If at any time during the course you have a question or need assistance, you can click on Lucas, our instructor's email address at the top of the page. It will open your default email program and allow you to send him any questions, comments, suggestions, or any family photos you desire. When you've completed each chapter, you will come to the quiz screen that will give you the option of opening a browser window with the FAA's Instrument Testing Supplement in it. These figures may be larger and easier to read than those embedded in the course. You can also zoom in on the figures in the supplement using the zoom features at the top of the screen. Each quiz will give you the option to do this. Once the window is open, it will not close until you close it, so there would not be a need to do this for each quiz. If you click on the quiz button, you will start the 10-question quiz covering that chapter. Each quiz is an evaluation of your knowledge of the subject area, so you should try to do this from memory. While taking the quiz, the program will not allow you to exit the quiz or to go to another chapter. If you try this, the program will grade the quiz regardless of what has been completed. When taking the quizzes, simply click on the box adjacent to your answer for each quiz question, then click Submit. The system will immediately grade that answer and give you some feedback or helpful hints if incorrect. Click anywhere on the screen as prompted to go to the next question. At any time in the quiz, you can skip a question without penalty by using the Skip button and later return to that question using the Back button. This is allowable. It's not the same as clicking on a chapter slide while in quiz mode, which will once again terminate and grade the quiz. Just don't skip past the last question, or it will also grade the quiz. We're skipping to the end of the chapter right now to show you the results screen. This will show you your score and breakdown of your quiz performance. It will also give you the option of continuing to the next chapter, reviewing the quiz, or emailing your results to Pilot Training Solutions. If you choose to review, it will take you back to the question and show you your answer, whether you answered correctly, incorrectly, or incompletely, and what the correct answer was. After reviewing your quiz, you should go back through the chapter and find out why you got any question wrong. You can find your problem areas by using the table of contents or the find feature we've already discussed. Emailing passing scores to Pilot Training Solutions will give us the ability to evaluate your performance and supply you with the necessary sign-off with which to take the FA knowledge test upon completion of the course. This is an optional step, but if you would like us to sign you off, this will be necessary. 
FYI, make sure that you have set up your primary email program as your computer's default email program. This is the only way that your score will be transmitted to us. At the end of the course, we have a 60-question practice exam you could take to see everything put together. We've also included the FAA's entire test question bank and an answer key in the course as well for additional practice should you want it. To open this, go to your computer start menu and select All Programs. Select Instrument Written Preparation Course and click on it. Then below Instrument Written Preparation, click on Knowledge Test Bank and Question Bank Answer Key to open each document. You can also separately open the testing supplement to view the necessary figures. With these PDFs open, you can go through each question and answer it, then check your answers against the answer key. Well, that's it. You're ready to start the program. Altogether, there are approximately seven and a half hours of material presented in this course. If you dedicate a few hours each evening, you can complete the course and be signed off for your written in three to four days. Any teacher, educator, or CFI will tell you, don't spread this out over several weeks. If you do, then by the time you complete the program, you'll have forgotten the methods outlined in Chapter 1. Take it from a couple of instructors who have been teaching for over 25 years. Set aside the time, get it done, and put it out of your mind. After the written, we'd love to hear from you and how you did. Give us a shout-out so we can congratulate you personally. We're constantly adding to our repertoire of programs. Visit our website at pilottrainingsolutions.com to view our courses. During your journey through aviation, you may be in need of some of our other programs, and don't forget to tell other aspiring aviators about us. We're in this business to help as many pilots as we can conquer the written exam and achieve their dreams of flight. Well, without any further ado, let's get started on your pilot training solution. Remember, take your time, Pay attention, and for goodness sake, just put this thing behind you.